Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you people are doing great. Today we will discuss the last part of enzyme regulation. That is control of enzyme synthesis, especially the two important words enzyme repression and enzyme induction. Uh, you know very well uh, that our topic is enzyme regulation. It is a little bit big topic so we divide the enzyme regulation into small parts this is the last part of enzyme regulation means if you are a newcomer you see here we are discussing control of enzyme synthesis it means there are five other styles which were already discussed and i will try my best to put the link of those remaining five uh, parts in that video lecture so that you could watch all these parts at once okay this is really very special for me especially from the pharmacology point of view in control of enzyme synthesis here the dna is involved the very first thing the dna is involved how you will see everything here there are two headings in this video lecture. One is the enzyme induction and the other is the enzyme repression. Repress means to decrease something. Induction means to increase, means something is, was not present in your body. And now when its concentration in your body is increasing, then you can see that the, you can say that this is induction. So when enzyme is not there inside your body right and your body starts synthesizing the enzyme and your body start increasing the enzyme concentration this is called enzyme induction because your body felt that the body need more enzyme so its concentration will be increased in this case your body feels that the uh, we don't require enzyme any further so the enzyme consumption must be decreased so how let me start from the enzyme induction first uh, suppose there is a hormone called insulin this is what this is hormone and you know in our body we have different types of hormones and they have their own role and function insulin is mainly concerned with glucose it tries to decrease the glucose level it tries to generate energy this is the uh, role of insulin hormone when insulin is released inside your body that insulin hormone will come to the dna right at the DNA, the insulin will helps in the synthesis of uh, formation of messenger RNA from the DNA. And you know very well that what is messenger RNA? mRNA, messenger RNA. That is the part of a protein synthesis. We have already discussed protein synthesis in detail. So just today um, there will be no detail of protein synthesis but at least i hope you know very well that in during protein synthesis a messenger rna is generated from the dna so this this messenger rna which was generated from the dna it was by the help of this insulin hormone so insulin hormone is acting on the dna and because of this interaction of hormone and dna we are getting messenger rna this messenger RNA will of course move towards what? Towards the ribosome. At the ribosome. At the ribosome, what will happen? Protein will be synthesized. Amino acids will be uh, assembled. So here we can see 
that amino acids are being synthesized the small circle just shows amino acids are uh, sorry amino acids are not synthesized amino acids are already present amino acids are just assembled these amino acids will make what will make an enzyme so here this is the enzyme that is composed of large number of amino acids so the amino acids or the protein which is, uh, is is synthesized here on the surface of ribosome is now here so this is our enzyme now the that enzyme came to us in our body by the help of dna okay so this process where enzyme have been synthesized and this is not a single enzyme large number of enzyme will be synthesized there are there will be a lot of enzyme so this process is called is enzyme induction now why this happened why insulin has done this kind of role this is just only to utilize glucose because uh, the insulin realizes the body realizes that we want to co to convert glucose into pyruvate uh, we want this glucose to oxidize means to generate energy in glycolysis you know uh, I, I hope you also have uh, studied this process glycolysis where glucose is converted into many uh, products it is oxidized generating energy for the cell so in glycolysis we require this glucose uh, like pyruvate kinase right pyruvate kinase glucokinase there are different enzymes which are involved here and these are regulatory enzymes fine so uh, glucose will be converted into pyruvate or uh, uh, through uh, any other intermediate by the help of enzyme and that enzyme may be pyruvate kinase glucokinase any one so that enzyme came from the dna devil and as far as your body require that this process is continue so the you will see a continuous synthesis of the enzyme so enzyme has been synthesized by the help of hormone insulin and this will continue now here is one another thing is also there uh, sometime when your body glucose is in excess large amount of glucose is there and the body now wants to decrease the glucose concentration so it will be converted into glycogen right glycogen synthetase is another enzyme so here i would, would like to write another enzyme glycogen synthetase synthetase this is the, uh, this is another enzyme glycogen synthetase so when glucose is an axis it, it should be converted into glycogen when glucose is converted into glycogen then the glycogen is a stored form of glucose this glycogen will not be inside your blood so in your blood sugar level will decrease fine so this is another way of glucose utilization here glucose was utilizing as a result decreased glucose decreased glucose concentration here glucose is converting into a storage form glycogen once again glucose is decreasing so so we can see that insulin hormone is the the basic function of insulin hormone is to decrease glucose concentration is to utilize glucose so uh, how insulin has done this by this way as you saw so this is enzyme induction now in enzyme repression if we come here enzyme repression it is uh, the opposite of this process here enzyme will not be synthesized here enzymes concentration will be decreased now how there is an example of pyruvate carboxylase is it, it is an enzyme and this enzyme uh, is needed in our body when glucose concentration is very low and glucose is very low and you know glucose is uh, is required for the body for to get energy so when glucose is less then 
This enzyme convert non-glucose sources. Non-glucose means like just amino acid is not uh, glucose. Amino acid is not a carbohydrate. Amino acid is a non-carbohydrate source. So this amino acid will be converted into glucose. Gluconeogenesis, you might have heard, this is a process where you get glucose from something from something else like uh, amino acids or fatty acid. So the enzyme is pyruvate carboxylase. So this is a very important enzyme because this enzyme providing us glucose and we will get energy from glucose. Okay, uh, how this happens? Actually, inside your body there is another hormone called cortisol hormone cortisol hormone this hormone realizes that glucose is less in the body and the person is needing glucose so this hormone will start its action will start its role cortisol hormone definitely from the kidney and from the kidney side, you know, uh, hormones, glands are there uh, inside uh, your body at uh, different parts. So cortisol, we are not concerned where this hormone will come from. Cortisol will act on the DNA. Just like here we saw insulin was acting on the DNA. Cortisol will interact with the DNA. As a result, uh, we will see messenger RNA, messenger RNA whenever a protein is synthesizing then it will be first by the help of messenger rna from the dna we get messenger rna and from that messenger rna uh, we will start synthesizing our enzyme so once again on the ribosome amino acids will be assembled and from these amino acid we will get pyruvate carboxylase this enzyme will start converting amino acid in glucose but here students might be thinking that where is enzyme repression okay just wait wait now this whole process was carried out when the glucose was not there in the body as far as when the glucose is not there so this is the process what will happen when there is an excess of glucose suppose inside your body inside your body you have taken you have taken some uh, carbohydrate source got lunch and you have an ample a large amount of glucose in your body when your body itself has uh, got large amount of glucose then there is no I think there is no need for this pyruvate carboxylase to get glucose from amino acid okay it was just an emergency situation when your body get glucose then this is not required so what will happen now in the presence of glucose now when when glucose is there in body in the presence of glucose this cortisol hormone will sense that now the glucose is high so this cortisol will be removed from the dna and once this cortisol hormone is released uh, uh, removed from the dna there will be no messenger rna from the dna when there is no messenger rna there will be no synthesis and when there is no synthesis there will be no carboxylate carboxylase as a result its concentration will decrease because we know that every enzyme after some time they are degraded in, uh, in our body so when the synthesis stop the pyruvate carboxylase synthesis stops and it will be degraded in the body of course its level will decrease so in the presence of glucose in the presence of excess glucose the amount of pyruvate carboxylase is decreased this is called enzyme repression 
decrease amount of enzyme or decrease in this of enzyme due to something like glucose or other substance is called enzyme repression so this was wonderful to see that inside our body enzymes are regulated in a variety of ways this is one of them which is very very special especially for the mbbs and uh, pharmacy students when when they are discussing pharmacology when they are discussing drugs from the pharmacology point of view i hope you got this uh, control of enzyme synthesis enzyme induction and enzyme preparation the topic is being now finished i would uh, definitely provide the link of other parts in this video till then bye bye